we got Rashida Talib. Now, Rashida Talib is in the news again for her anti-Semitism. Uh, what do you think about uh, Rashida Talib and her new um, assertions here? Her her outrageousness actually is quite a bit more graphic than Elon Omar, uh, Jermaine. Uh, it started when she had her first reception in her congressional office and put a sticker over the state of Israel that said Palestine as if Israel didn't exist. Uh, background information is coming out on her now, um, Jermaine, that ties her to a very prominent Palestinian Arab Facebook group called Palestinian American Congress that has the most gross, graphic, anti-Semitic writings that would uh, make any Nazi in the 1940s proud, uh, talking about the Jews of today are fake Jews, uh, that Israel doesn't really exist as a country, uh, the Jews are controlling the world. I mean, it's really, really horrible stuff. And the head of this group was one of her major fundraisers and one of her best friends. Um, she's also got ties to terrorists She's taken her picture with people that have gotten out of jail in Israel for killing children. Uh, these are the backers of, of uh, Rashida Tlaib because she makes it very clear that she, her intention is to go to Washington and destroy Israel. Now, this is the same congresswoman that on her victory party made a speech in front of her children that as soon as I get to Israel, I'm going to impeach the MFR, referring to Donald Trump. And this was in front of her children. And she said one of the reasons she didn't like Donald Trump is he used, quote, bad language, unquote. So I wouldn't believe a word that comes out of her mouth because most of it is hate. And she doesn't make a secret about it. In fact, to her, it's entertainment. And apparently, to her constituents in a highly Muslim congressional district, they absolutely love her. You know, and one thing else, um, she's reportedly um, a member of a Facebook group uh, called Palestine, Palestinian American Congress, where people in that group demonize Jews and they make fun of Jews. Um, how can a person in Congress be a part of such a group i mean if they were conservative and they were a part of a group that was demonizing um muslims or they were demonizing other people of faith they would be attacked how does she pass with this you know that's an interesting question the democrat party is lurching so far so fast to the left that the mainstream Democrats, which would be the blue dog Democrats, the ones that are middle of the road and could be either way in either party, seem to be in a minority, Germain, that's shrinking. You've got the 2020 elections coming up, and so far every presidential candidate that's on a major level, what you know, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, uh, they're all aggressively progressive, meaning socialist, and they won't attack anybody, no matter what somebody says, for fear of losing a couple of votes here or there. Um, the comments and the affiliations of, of Tlaib should have been censored already by Congress, and there should have been a congressional outcry where members come on the floor and say, you can't be a member of our club if you behave like this and you talk like this. And sadly, there hasn't been that. Yeah, you know, and she also is um, also seen supporting uh, Abdel Kader, which is a guy who shared an anti-Semitic video that claimed that Jews aren't actually Jewish and they invented the historical claim to Israel and they're secretly controlling the media. I mean, conspiracy theory, I can say that. Um, how can anybody with the right mind, um, you know, be in Congress and have this type of view? It just blows my mind, ladies and gentlemen. You know, um, 
we shouldn't be elite, elite. Well, there's a huge, there's a big movement. I should just, I should comment, mm -hmm. uh, Jermaine, to recall her and get her out of Congress. There's over 100,000 signatures on it nationwide. The problem is, uh, what does the district think? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, the people in Michigan seem to really like her.